If you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable Foot21 coins, make sure to head over to useofandbuy.com. They sell the cheapest coins and also sell players off their website. So make sure to use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Link in the description. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new player review so today I'm going to be reviewing the one to watch slash inform Odegaard recently transferred to 85 rated so if you guys are interested in any more player reviews do let me know who else you'd like reviewing so let's jump in to this Odegaard review so he is coming in at around 37,000 coins on Xbox and around 32.5k on a PlayStation which is quite cheap because the other day he was going for about 40 to 50,000 mainly because of hype so if you do ever invest in like one to watch it's always selling the hype rather than actually selling them when the one to watch is announced it's kind of weird how it works but that's just the way investments work so anyway into the actual card I think it's a very good price by the way in, in terms of his card he's got a two star weak foot and a five star skill move I do want to go into the two star weak foot a second this goal by the way is absolutely sick from Odegaard well from Kante but beautiful beautifully assisted by Odegaard we do do a repair on it uh, but the two star weak foot is a lot lot use more usable this FIFA because they've actually improved the efficiency of the weak foot this year so let's say last year as an example this is not exact, but last year the two-star weak foot was like 30% effective. This year they've upped it by about 10-15% to make it like 40-45% um, effective. Now Pemfez was explaining this on his stream yesterday or something, uh, saying how they've improved the weak foot. And he gave an example similar to that, but I'd, I'm terrible at explaining things. But um, you guys get the gist roughly. So weak foot is a lot more, uh, less valuable you could say so two star week for a lot more usable and yeah it's not a huge factor he just got an absolute banger later on in this clip as well which is absolutely sick five star skill moves as well i feel like five star skill moves more than ever is actually really really effective because you can now chain skill moves as well so you can do like double rabona double um double rabona double elasticos i've seen a lot of pros use double elasticos a lot which is absolutely sick so it's, it's very hard to defend against so if you can learn the double elastico um do try and learn it by uh, boys so and by the way look at this finish i cannot believe i don't know what you boys think i cannot believe he missed his chance really nice croquetta absolutely loving the croquetta how did he miss this that's on his strong foot as well he is left footed if you don't know his weak foot is his right foot I couldn't believe he missed that. I really couldn't. Um, in terms of his work rates, medium, medium. Really liked his work rates. Never found him a huge issue. Did drop deep and start a lot of my attacks. I played him either in a striker position in a 4-4-2 or in the camp position in a 4-2-3-1. Mostly 4-4-2 though because 4-4-2 is by far my favourite formation at the minute. Really, really liking it. And then in terms of key start, it is Vision 90. Passing stats on a whole, absolutely brilliant. So we're going to go jump into his cons. Obviously, the two-star weak foot we've already covered. I feel like this year it's a lot more usable, um, but it will become a little bit of an issue, especially if you're playing against a really good opponent and you're relying on his right foot sometimes because sometimes you need to cut on that weak foot. Uh, finishing was a little bit of an issue. He did miss some key, key shots and some big chances in some tough games. This game, by the way, I will let you guys know i did get promoted uh, but this game was the game to try and get into division two i won every single game in division three it came down to this game i was literally nine skill rating off division two and uh, this guy had quite a sweaty team as well i believe he had mbappe I, d I came across two mbappes i can't remember if it was this game but this was the game and we did in fact win but odegaard did miss that huge chance this game and luckily i did end up clutching it with other players but if that was the chance that lost me the game yeah, um, I did go over Hunter by the way to boost his pace and fully boost his finishing as well, um, just to top it off. Really, really nice. I think this is the chance where he hits it on his right foot. It is. Yeah, um, I wanted him to hit it on his outside of the foot on the, on his left foot, but he took it on his right foot. I was kind of annoyed, but um, very nicely worked anyway. Um, in terms of his other cons, we've, we've gone through the weak foot, we've gone through finishing strength. He's got 63. Not a huge issue to be honest because most attackers do have like lowish strength so it's not a huge issue didn't really get bodied much look at the build-up play to this by the way nice little one two here is Odegaard what's he gonna do the finishing is just terrible again I feel like he should have done a lot better again there again really nice work well worked he's really good at like working the ball into a nice area and set, setting up his own chances this was a nice little bit of play as well because can't it mess up the pass and so on nice bit of composure uh, but Odegaard once again started the attack 
Um, but yeah, strength's not a huge issue. Reactions, not horrendous. Re his reactions are 75, so like mid range. I would maybe try and boost them on a chem style if you wanted to. Personally, I'd rather have a hunter and just boost up his pace and finishing, but you could go with a, a boost on that. Um, anyway, there is the goal on his right foot, two star weak foot. Look at this for a goal off the volley. I believe I do go over a replay in a second. Look at this, arrives late in the box on his right foot, two star weak foot. That's FIFA, that's heading to the corner flag. Beautifully, beautiful, beautifully taken from Modegard. Happy days. And then final is the final con is composure. 77 composure. Again, not a huge issue. I feel like his composure along with his finishing is a little bit of an issue. Um, like I said, like his finishing was a bit of an issue. I'm not gonna lie. That was his biggest issue with his cards because on the ball felt really, really, really nice and created a lot of the, a lot of chances. But yeah, his finishing definitely was an issue. But other than that, his cons, not many, really not many. Um, in terms of his actual pros, I've been mean, certain Max Vin should have scored that. In terms of his pros, agility, we've gone through his agility. 87 agility feels really, really nice on the ball. One thing I need to mention my reviews more is their body type. So he has got a lean body type as well, which is really, really nice um, for how they dribble on the ball. Very, very nice. Ball control, absolutely insane. 87 ball control, so you can whap it into him and he'll... Uh, control it really nicely that was a really nice team goal by the way really really nice um in terms of passing passing on a hole i usually put short passing long passing but when you've got the passing stat to vodegaard i mean he's got 90 vision 87 crossing 85 free kick accuracy 85 short passing 83 long passing and he's got 83 curve as well so i have put curve at the bottom i may as well go through curve now i do like to mention curves not just about finesse shots um he's finesse shots some went in uh, which is nice but a lot of the great thing about curve is the fact that you can curve the ball around several players for a long pass and stuff like that which is very very handy and uh, overall very key because yeah with some passes it's, it might be a tight pass and he'll curve it around the player so happy days um, so yeah passing on a hole very nice we've gone through vision shot power was actually pretty decent 80 shot power he's got with 82 long shots so Shot power and long long shots are actually pretty decent. I think you could tell by some of the misses how powerfully, well, how powerful his shots are. By the way, I'm telling you his stats without a chem style. I like to tell you their raw stats, and then you guys can uh, go from there and decide whether you want to boost the chem style with uh, with something else. But um, anyway, boys, that is going to be pretty much the review done. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, if you if you're interested in any reviews on any other players that was a such a nice goal by the way um yeah do let me know in the comments and overall i think he's very much worth thirty thousand coins i'm really happy i packed him um if you made it to this part of the video i will explain i've had to record this video twice i literally uploaded the last video and the mic quality was horrendous i'm hoping the mic quality is a little bit better this time um so apologies if i'm sounding, sounding a little bit not the most enthusiastic because i've literally just gone for a t pretty much a 10 minute video twice so having to explain absolutely everything again is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I hope I've explained everything good and not over, like over uh, looked some things. But um, I feel like I've touched the main parts. Really nice on the ball. Creates a lot of chances. Does drop deep a lot for the ball as well to create um, to create a lot of goals. And uh, agile dribbling. I knew I'd forget some stuff. Something agile dribbling. I think it shows it nicely. Uh, yeah, a little bit here. So agile dribbling with the RB or R1, um, really nice. Feels amazing because because of the nice agility, lean body type, all comes in really handy. And uh, overall, unreal on the ball, boys. So uh, and yeah, one thing I want to want to learn as well is a lot more skill moves, especially this FIFA. You do need to learn them, especially now you can chain. You can chain skill moves again, so you may as well try and learn them. Like in that scenario there. I should have maybe um, uh, elastic code saying that. <laughs> How do you miss that? How do you miss? How do you miss that? Um, but um, there we do have it, boys. Anyway, I do think it's worth 30,000 coins. Very much so. Absolute beast. If you guys are interested in any of our reviews on my channel, I have reviewed several. With um, I've reviewed Son on the Use of and Buy channel. I've reviewed Phil and Mendy. I've reviewed quite a few other boys. So if you guys are interested in going to watch them as well, I'd appreciate that. So, uh, I am finally in Division 2. Absolutely killing it as well. I did not lose a single game in Division 3. A lot of clean sheets as well. Off stream, I've been absolutely killing it. Uh, winning a lot more games. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just playing way better off stream. 
and like I said I didn't lose a single game in Div 3 so we're officially in Div 2 now in the deep end so I'm potentially going to bring a custom tactic for you, video for you guys depending on how well it does in foot champs but I, I don't play defensive I play just pure attacking high press football and uh, I mean I, I love this formation I love the team 4-4-2 absolutely loving it 4-4-2 is my favourite formation so far this FIFA so anyway boys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the review if you guys could drop a like I'd appreciate that job so if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace